So today, Facebook slash Meta dropped Code Llama 70 billion parameter, the biggest and best performing version of their open source LLM so far. There's three models here to be aware of. The Code Llama 70 billion, the base model, Code Llama 70 billion Python, specifically fine-tuned for Python coding, and Code Llama 70 billion instruct. Let's look at what that means and why this is important. So in August 2023, they introduced Code Llama, a state-of-the-art large language model for coding. At the end of January 2024, today, they released Code Llama 70 billion parameter. This is the largest and best performing model in the Code Llama family. The Code Llama 70 billion is available in the same three versions as previously released Code Llama models, all free for research and commercial use. We'll dive deeper in the end about what the actual license is. And so the three models that they release is the foundational model. One is Python specialized for coding with Python. And then the instruct model, which is fine tuned for understanding natural language instructions. So this is more like ChatGPT, for example, where it acts as a little bit more like an AI assistant versus the foundational model, which is more of a text completion engine. And they're saying today we are releasing Code Llama, a large language model that can use text prompts to generate code. Code Llama is the state of the art for publicly available LLMs on code tasks and has the potential to make workloads faster and more efficient for current developers and lower the barrier to entry for people who are learning to code. It's great for productivity, education tool for programmers, and also it helps create more robust, well-documented code. And they're releasing this under the same community license as Llama 2. They've posted the community license here. So basically you might have remembered hearing a little bit about this. It's pretty open, the little fine print that they have in there. And this is something that has annoyed people. If the monthly active users of those products or services is greater than 100 million monthly active users, in the preceding calendar month, you must request a license from Meta. This basically means they're trying to not grant these licenses to the other big tech competitors. So they're trying to exclude, you know, Microsoft and Google, et cetera. But if you're not one of the behemoths, if you will, in the tech industry, otherwise it's a pretty open license. And basically how it works is Code Llama is a code specialized version of Llama 2, further trained Llama 2 on its code specific data sets. And so they've been releasing various sizes of Code Llama of 7 billion, 13 billion, 34 billion, and now finally 70 billion parameters. And each of these models is trained with 50 billion tokens of code and code related data except for the 70B, which is trained on 1 trillion tokens. So Code Llama is basically, they're taking Llama 2 and training it on code. For the Code Llama Python, they're adding Python code training and long context fine tuning. On the other side, they have long context fine tuning, which is the Code Llama and additional fine tuning to make it into Code Llama Instruct. So that kind of chat back and forth assistant. So on the human eval, GPT-4, for example, they, they self-reported, I believe, in the GPT-4 technical card paper they published at 67, a score of 67, GPT 3.5 was clocked in at 48.1. And here Code Llama Instruct does slightly better at 67.8, surpassing GPT 4 at the time that it came out. And they're saying that this is the highest compared with other state-of-the-art open solutions and on par with Chad GPT. And Code Llama is available on Hugging Face. And you can download the models right here. So this is ai.meta.com. I'll leave the link in the description below. Fill out your details, select which models you want to have access to, know what you're agreeing to, click I accept, and let's go. You'll be emailed with the download link. And so you'll get this email almost immediately. So you visit the Code Llama repository. That looks like this. There's a readme about how to use the download.sh script. You will need the signed URL that you receive over email. That's going to be this thing at the bottom there. I can't show it because it's unique to me. And step three, select which model waits to download. It looks like you have 24 hours with that unique uh, ID. So I'm very excited to see what the open source community does with Code Llama. Here's Harrison Kinsley, aka Sentdex on YouTube. He talks a lot about Python programming and various cool machine learning applications. He used to be a lawyer and pivoted to AI, so he gets a lot of points for that. He's saying, I have found tunes of Code Llama 34B to be close enough to what GPT-4 did for me to cancel my sub to GPT-4. With Code Llama 70 billion finally released, the subsequent tunes can further seal the fate of closed AI for coding models, where open source AI is just plain better in every way. From here, Mixtral is a general purpose open source AI model that can also be fine tuned further by open source movement to replace the more general purpose goals, and Mixtral isn't going to be the last. If you moved off of GPT-4, when did you? If you haven't yet, what capabilities are you not happy with from OSS AI models? So the abbreviation OSS here is just open source software. 
So this is the important thing to understand about these code llama models and open source AI models in general is that when the company releases them, that's just version kind of 1.0 and the community itself from that starts fine tuning them and finding ways to make it better. Here he seems to be saying, and I mean, I don't know if this is the case or not, but he strikes me as an honest, trustworthy guy. He's got a lot of following. People know him. This is a known person with 1.2 million subscribers on YouTube. So he's finding that he was able to reach GPT-4 like performance for coding. So what GPT-4 did for him with Code Llama 34 billion because of another fine tuning that somebody else did, apparently this, I'm guessing fine 34 billion, that was doing very well. And he's saying he would wait for the new, for the new fine tuned 70 billion models coming out to see how well those do. This is interesting because very soon we might see these home cooked models that are better at coding than GPT-4, the leading closed source model. So very excited to see what is ahead for the open source community and what crazy things they're going to cook up with the open source code llama. Mark Zuckerberg being the champion of open source AI. Who had that on their bingo card? My name is Wes Roth. Thank you for watching.